most frequently asked questions I get from viewers is what hearing protection are you wearing? I got that question twice this morning, so I figured it was a sign to go ahead and knock this review out to answer that question that you guys have been asking. There's a couple reasons why these are so popular. Number one is going to be the price point. These generally come to market at $20 or under $20 on most places. I know Amazon pretty much always has them at that price point. And I believe Walmart actually carries these as well in a lot of locations. So very attractive price point. And the second reason is sort of the ergonomics of them. Number one, they fit very comfortably on your head. They surround your ear very comfortably. Nice headband here that actually, there's a lot of companies that make accessories for these if you want to make them even more comfortable. I don't feel the need, but some folks do. And uh, they also have the tapered cups here. So that way when you're shooting uh, something with a stock, like a rifle or a shotgun, hence the name Shotgunner, it's not going to interfere with the cheek weld, and that's a problem with a lot of ear protection out there. So it does avoid that. These are essentially the non-amplified version or non-electronic version of the Peltor 6S that you've you guys have also seen here on the channel. Generally when I wear these, there's other people around and I need to communicate with them. And when I'm wearing these, I'm kind of out there by myself, which is typically what you guys see here on the channel. Um, I typically do all that recording and everything by myself. So looking at the inside of them, the cups here, they're padded and they are padded with a foam insert in there and they are removable. So you can actually clean them if you want. Same thing with your foam insert and putting them back together. It's just the exact opposite. You just snap this sucker in place by pushing down all the way around and uh, they're collapsible as well so that way if you want to go ahead and uh, put them in your cargo pocket or something like that you can just kind of push them up if I can actually do it right you collapse this collapse the link down then push them up like that so a very small package when you want to carry them around and the length is also adjustable for different users the downside of this setup ear protection is that the noise reduction rating is only 21 decibels so if you're out there shooting with a handgun or most carbine type uh, rifles like an AK or AR, it's going to be just fine. You're not going to notice that it's overly loud. But when you start getting into some of the big calibers like 308 or 7.62 by 54 r you may want to double up. As a kind of a rule of thumb, I always double up. I pretty much always have either foam inserts or the Surefire inserts inside my ear with these as well. Um, just because why risk it? Why take the chance? Uh, hearing is something that once it's gone it doesn't come back so I kind of always err on the side of caution that said you don't need them but so that's kind of the, the con of it is that they are on the lower end of noise reduction rating but comfort price etc they do really well at that but if you guys have any questions about the Peltor shotgunners feel free to ask me you can either ask me over at my Facebook page you can ask in the comments below as well but thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I hope to see you in the next video